Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of a Franchise Zoo, and this is our tiny zoo. Today, we are going to build another habitat as well as some food for the guests that want to have some food and drinks and so on. Now, actually, I have done some things in uh, between the two episodes, and before I press play, uh, I'm going to talk you through what I tried, and I've got no idea if that's going to work, but we will try. So, first of all, uh, thank you for all your feedback. I, I did put down the donation boxes as as you guys were mad at me in the comments, actually were mad for a reason. Um, I also put down the second education board over here, put another donation box here. Um, so that's all fixed. I also did put two habitats in the back here, which um, I, I just put down yesterday evening. So I forgot to basically put the education things there as well. So um, that is done. Oh my goodness me. Um, boy. This is not how I imagined this to happen. So my idea was that they, you know, go in here and then maybe they exit via this little road, but it seems they don't for whatever reason they don't. I have really no idea why they don't. Um, so let's have a look if we have anything going on here. I mean, at least they are not all around with the artwork, but still uh, we've got one player visiting. Let's say yes, we've got we've got no security guard. I don't even know if we need. We've had offspring, which is great. We'll make us some money. Um, what shall we do next? I think it's going to be clever to make the artwork next. I'm just starting with the habitat animals first, I guess. I think that's a good idea. All right, so we have to see that things are going to sort themselves out now as they have hopefully food uh, stuff rather quickly. I shall make these things more expensive though. I mean, if they go so crazy, I'm just going to make them awfully expensive. Let's put 14 in here and a 10 in here. I don't care, you know, just go away. Guest happiness, scenery rating. I definitely have to upgrade my people rather quickly. Um, we've got the vendors here um, and I think we need to employ more vendors for these shops, right? So we've got, we've got three vendors. That's not enough at all. I'm going to employ three more vendors now um, that will live here in this area as well. And uh, let's just quickly assign them all to the same area, which I'm going to create. So let's go here work zones and we're going to create like a new work zone this is going to be um shops entrance that should be fine and now let's keep the vendors without so we've got uh one two three and you're going to be in the shops entrance so that's solved now they can switch jobs as well i think that's fine and i think we are running out of space in the stuff building already we should also go for a perk and i'm going to go for uh, with the happiness faster yeah happiness is fine let's do it that way okay so we've done this i think that's just fine and we are going to get into another has been boxed for too long why unbox animal have you been below no i think i fixed that with like you know we had issues that the animals got stuck in here and i think i fixed this now it should not be a d big deal anymore because they just kind of, yeah, this is exactly what they did. They, you know, they built these holes down here and then they just get out of them below. But I think now it's fine. Now we solve that issue. Um, respect Inspector has left. Let's have a little look what over here. So cleanliness, fine. Habitat one, two. Education is not fine at all, but that's just like a given um, at this point. We can actually already put more education down if we want. So this is the guest education coverage. And as you can see, we don't have these bubbles everywhere so we should put them down as well so i'm going to put one down here and this is going to be for the art walk i'm just going to increase no this shouldn't be too much of an increase that's fine and we're going to put this one uh just in the in the donation box that should be good and then we are going to decrease the radius of it uh, i was about Okay, you know what, we're just going to do that one like so, because I don't want to stress the animals, you know, so there you go, this is this is fine, so we've got that, so the occasion should be a lot better, we've got this, I have no idea if we should put like another thing down, but you know what I will do, I will basically go in and put even more education boards around, so we are going to put like some other more education here, this is a good spot, we can have another one in here. So just making sure that we have um, all the spaces utilized where we can put education. And they, I mean, they just stand in front of this one here. So why don't they have all the education? Is there anyone going here? Yes, there are some people going here. So we can have like another one there. So just making sure that we have all the education. And also since they're like waiting for stuff over here as well, 
Um, so I, I have no idea if um, if they will potentially use this path as well over here. I mean, that looks good. Look, they are just taking this one as the exit road. This was my idea and I did put the bins down as like a little guidance here to not make it too crowded, but it, it, it just seems to not work out exactly the way I want it to. Um, so if you guys want to help, you can always create a, some bin covers. I'm just kidding. But you know, if you want to help, you can put down some bin covers that might help as well. Now, um, we've got we've got no education. We're going to go with the amphibian crisis. I'm just going to put everything down here. Bee population. Then we have the, the deforestation and we can also go in with the ecotourism. So that's all we have over here. There is another one that just goes in there because education is basically the most powerful thing to get money in this game. And so I'm just going to just going to put this all down over here. And then what else do we have? Um, poaching population. Ring. Yeah, that's fine. So we can put this one down because that's just kind of fitting for the more jungle-ish area. So that's quite nice. I think we, we did a very solid job over here in, in total. And we have to look... Okay, we don't have a toilet quite yet. Um, I'm wondering, I think a toilet would also make sense in this space over here. So maybe I'm going to put this you know, intentionally, you know what? I will intentionally put that toilet um, back in there. So we're going to go here and we put the toilet just in case they want one over here. Gonna type in plaster, that's what we need. Uh, excuse me, you know what? I will basically do it. Um, I'm just gonna use a normal frame, I guess. Where's the normal frame? There's the normal frame. And then I'm just gonna use wood can we just not have these blueprints please thank you and now let's have a look if we can do like a gate some kind of thing you know is this like no that's not what i want to do uh let's just use this one and then i'm not sure if that looks good but we are just going to try to make that look somewhat more modern nice looking so let's, let's have a little look we don't need this but we can just raise that one nice delete the upper part that's just all fine and now we're just going to create like a little uh step down here so that looks maybe a bit nicer as well look at that that just fits right in here awesome and now let's say door whoops door and we do have you know we don't have these nice doors but i think we just keep that one or are we going to go with this one hmm i mean they're all not quite nice but we can just do it that way. One and two. A very simple toilet, okay? And then let's say toilet. There you go. And this is the sign. I'm just gonna put this down like so. Nice. This is, you know, something very simple. And I'm going to just connect those here. It doesn't matter, you know, that's fine. This can be this way. Uh, I just wanted to have this as like an little exit road why is it also so dark i think i i just should change the opening hours um a little bit so i mean uh, there was a little trick why we shouldn't do this but i i do want to make sure that we have a bit less of an opening maybe this is when a new day starts more people come into the zoo i've got no idea if that's this the way it goes or not but anyways so we've gone we've done this let's have a little looky look into our animals how they are doing welfare seems to be about right and we can see the puff adder did get some babies um i'm going to sell i'm going to sell these smaller ones they are basically not as great in terms of the rating so i'm gonna send them to the trade center so you can just sell them is there anyone else oh look at that the scorpion finally is doing its job so even is good <laughs> even is doing the good job um so let's have a look at these things so nine and two thousand is fine so two thousand and one nine right these these are the two ones that we have we should actually put you as like a <laughs> a and liam is going to be a2 so that's fine so I'm, I'm j i just have the idea who that is you can actually come up with some names if you want guys from from those two how we should actually uh name them so we're going to only males though well whatever so do we have more from these small animals like we brought them so they didn't get babies they didn't get babies. we've got a lot of those um but they are already in the trade center good let's go to exhibit trading and to our available animals and quick trade only three thousand 
That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Okay, so we've done this. Next challenge is done. Facility having significant negative impact on guests. Are you kidding me? Which one is this? So that's that's all great. So can't wait. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to see that. So Yuzu has... I'm just going to employ one just to just get rid of this thing, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to dismiss these things. Let's have a little look. Um, we can actually afford one security guard, I guess. So let's go and afford one. I just don't like this message, to be honest. And you guys were totally right in telling me that we can change some wages of the people working for us. I mean, I did upgrade them, but I could actually make my life a bit better by just clicking on them and then just oh wait i can well, wasn't that i can make the wages in here right i can oh yeah look at that i can just do this in here that's easy so let's have a look was it 150 yeah 150 is correct and then that over here is uh let's have a little look oh this is already f fine okay 150 is the the magic number for those 150 is fine and then no clue if we can change those as well, but um, yeah, we are going to just train all of them when needed, you know, that, that can be done all the time. We need to have educated and, and trained staff, that's, that's the way to go. There's no, there's no way around this, so I'm just going to adjust these things. Okay, mechanic research is done, what do we get? So we get the first, the first barriers, what, which kind of barriers did we get? So we did get the Gabion, okay, or Gabion, I have no clue how that's called. But we will use that exactly first, because that's gonna be like great for the next habitat. Animal thirsty, so why is no one coming over here to give you some, some drinks, you know? That should, be, that should be a good idea to just give you some drinks. Can I call, can I call you animals? Alert, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, but why? Yeah, just take some enrichment. Um, no idea if that's gonna make sense, but why is there no keeper coming to give you some some drinks? Do I have to do I have to employ another one? I guess I don't but look at all these little meerkats over here. I love that. Okay, cool So we're gonna put like the uh, fennec fox in this habitat uh, which is going to be created right now mm, I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to make the entrance to the habitat a little bit inwards over here So this is this is basic. I'm just gonna leave some space like so there we go, bring that in here, and then we say straight, and it's connected. Nice, okay, so that's all fine, all good, all, all nice and so. Um, we're going to basically have uh, climb proof, we don't basically need climb proof, I just wanna have this one. And what we are going to do with this is, we're just going to utilize that as a little, I think this is fine for the outside, I'm just gonna bring that down, and we're going to use the Gabion. I think the Fennec Fox cannot jump over, so that should all be good. Um, we do have to care about giving them some privacy, so that's why I'm going to keep a little bit of a higher barrier, which is going to be this one, but I definitely want to make sure that this is going to be a bit different, so we are giving them some wood locks over here, so that looks a bit better, I guess. We can make that like backside also corrugated, um, that fits a bit more to the simple zoo style we are working with right now and they're getting like an inside house here which I'm going to do right now um, we can make that like so as well because in goes with um, we're going to use the plaster pieces again all right, let's go into the plaster pieces. I just needed to quickly uh, turn on the AC for a couple of minutes. It just kind of got so hot in here in this room. Um, so yeah, well, never mind. Um, let's go back in and say plaster, and we're going to start over here with this thing. Gosh, the entrance area will be so much plaster. Is there anything else we can use? Sorry, I just, I just completely figured that maybe we are going to do something else. Shall we go with the breeze blocks for once? I think, or maybe even the normal Something more normal, like with the shelters and stuff. Um, bup, 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 or like the metal plank. I mean, the metal plank is like so freaking... No, we're going to go with the breeze blocks. Is that breeze blocks? No, that's a concrete wall. Um, breeze, 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 breezy, breezy blocks. Okay, so here we go. Um, I hate that it's always like so tall. I don't even want to have it that tall. We're just going to make the main building as tall, you know, because like the foxes are like, I mean, just insanely small so what we're going to do we're basically just giving a door for the there you go this is going to be the door for the keeper and that should be it and then we're going to make that like super oh my god okay well we're gonna make this like super low 
Du -du 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 I mean, this could be even fun if they can go on top of that area. I think that would be funny um, if they have like another upper layer. Why not? Uh, giving it to them in this way would be would just open up for some more cool interaction, I guess. So we're gonna keep this not as open as this. I think it's fine to just go here. And then that fits all very nicely in. Again, we don't need to make that like super crazy big because why would we? It's it's just like a little building for them, you know? Uh, so we can make like a little roofy here, like, you know, just, just getting it uh, done like this. I think, yeah, maybe. No, you know, I'm just gonna keep it that way. I think this is looks nice and we can make some headlights over here as well. We, we need that ugly pipe thingy, which I'm going to put. Can I put this in as well? Yeah, let's put that in here. No one cares about that pipe thingy. We want to have something else. Okay, and then we are just going to put the sprinkler. Where do you put the sprinkler? I think I'm just gonna put this in the front here and we're going to make that like brownish, blah, blah, brownish. How much are they appealed to stress or so? Are they just really very easily stressed? I think they are not, right? So we've got a lot of enrichment items now, which is great. Um, and now let's have a look. A food tray, large, small. I'm gonna give them like a large one and I'm gonna place this here. Okay, cool. Things are done and I wanna give them like some extra large bedding, but this is gonna be placed obviously inside of the habitat thingy. So like they have their shelter building, which is great. Let's have a look if there's everything is fine in here. Start book is social is nice as well. Animal has moderate so social welfare issues because why? None, no bond. Why is this? Ah, okay. Well, this is because they are socializing right now, right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, what about what about social? Oh, they are stressed. Okay, yeah, we are going to try to reduce the stress now a little bit by putting down some rocks as uh, visible barriers here. Whoops, I just can't do it because I'm. St Hello, I need the red one. There you go. I like the color quite a bit, so I'm going to put this down here. This is like a very, very big one. Is this now space? No, that's no space issue. So I'm just going to use that one as well as almost like a viewing block as well, like so. So people have to look through these things. I think that's a great idea in terms of making sure they have a bit of privacy, but people still have a good view. So I'm just going to put these things like so. And you know what? I think it's... You know, we are going to take these ones though, but I think it's kind of nice to just put these things to the side and then it's almost like a little rock area in which they can have a little glimpse here in the middle, why not? But the rest of it should be should be pretty much hidden away, like so. And we're going to put something in between here in the internal area as well. Look at how much stress they have. Why do they have that much stress? Because everyone is coming for a for a little looky look right now, right? So we're gonna put like a one there, one there, another one here. We're gonna have to make sure that they don't have that much stress. So how about you? You all have like crazy stress, okay? So plants is desert. Okay, we're gonna put some desert plants in here, hoping hoping that this is gonna improve as well. So let's say put desert and Africa, obviously. Africa, desert plants incoming. So first of all, you're gonna get like a palm tree here. This will be quite a bit of, you know, uh, coverage already. So I'm gonna put like another thing here. I should put the sprinkler back here so that they don't run all over there the whole time. Um, uh, yeah, see, we have protesters already in because they have so much stress. Yeah, I'm trying to improve this now. So let's let's give them some more space to hide. Um, maybe, maybe this dragon tree will help as well. I don't know. Let's put that in. And then, uh, do they actually like to have? First of all, is this still okay with the coverage? Yes, it is. Is there anything else we can put them down, like some some grass or stuff? There you go. I'll just put some some grass down as well to make the habitat at least look somewhat better. You know, just, I don't know if they can hide in the long grass. That would be at least somewhat neat if that's a thing. You know, if that's actually a thing, if they can hide in there. So let's have a look. Yeah, stress is still crazy. Um, okay, well, you know what we do? In order to improve things, I'm just going to raise this entire area and gonna make this crazy block over here and then we're just going to lower this area down 
same goes over here yeah yeah blah 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 spotted protester and this is like yeah this will cost me a lot of money now but i think we need to do this otherwise this is gonna be crazy okay so this is this is it to hopefully improve the welfare a little bit um and then i'm going to also add a ambient speaker for them which is gonna go in this corner here right is there anything else like desert and stuff here desert at night yeah there you go and i'm gonna put the speaker as well another ambience this is like i you know i don't even know where exactly that's going but okay another ambient speaker over here that should be fine okay cool we've done this and we will also now need to put down the security sign to stfu there you go. This is the security sign STFU. We're going to put this here. Yeah, I mean, I see it. It's fine. Can I, can I have, like, look, they are doing already better. You can, you can leave now. I did my best to improve that. We have no more problems. See you later, alligator. Thank you for joining my zoo. Thank you for bringing these protest thingies. We don't care. Okay, so we have to say hello. We have to say hello to Patrick as well. We have to... Make sure that this one is unboxed. I hate this. Um, facility is broken down. Okay, well, we got to have to put our, you know, mechanic there. Where's the mechanic? Isn't he doing it? Why is he not doing his job? Are we going to employ another one? Maybe we should. Um, okay, so first of all, vet research is running. I'm just really, I'm just really thinking to invest in a second one. I think I will. Um, a vet is going to be in here as well. And another mechanic as well. What the hell are you guys doing? Okay, I don't know. Um, so we've got two vets now. Uh, so they can... I mean, we only have like one research station. So that doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm going to copy that one over. And this is going to be here. Somewhat like this. Okay, so we've got these two. And then we can have the research. Vet research, you're going to go there. Nice. Okay, so this is good. Money is going down. Yeah, because I'm spending quite a bit of money. Um... But I really hope that this is now better off here with the... Look at that. Yay, that's great. That's great. So we don't... We, we can't improve the meal quality. We can improve the meal quality with the with the meerkats, though. The meerkats and the meerkats. Look, there's another one box. Unbox. It still seems to be a little bit of an issue here with the things. I'm not sure if I should actually open that just up. And Yeah, I. you know what? I'm just going to open that up. Um... And then we're just going to do follow the following. I think that makes things a little bit more easy by just... Uh, wait, this is stupid. Can I just have... Yeah, that should be fine. I'm just going to do it very easy right now. <laughs> just to have like somewhat of a... Yeah, that's, that's already it. That looks somewhat realistic then. I, you know, I just didn't want to do anything else. Um, but I wanted to give them some better food. Let's go for... Two. So they have some better food. Nice. Okay. So same goes for you guys. You get some better food too. You are rather, uh, you know, you're rather cheap. So, oh, you're not that cheap though. But look at that. They have a baby. Um, what was the barrier status? Is not great. Okay. So the mechanic should actually check the barrier. But since I used a lot of natural barriers, it's just really not really that much of an issue here. Okay. The meerkat is um, matured. I'm not sure if they do some inbreeding now, so we potentially should go and make sure that those who were just matured, look at that, we have some baby baby scorpions again, which makes us money, which is great. Um, we can bring them to the trade center, yes. Same goes for the puff adder, right? Wasn't there like uh, maturity? Da -da 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 -da. That's great. We can put these down. All right, good. We've done this, and uh, these are still no. They all they both matured. Okay, so we're gonna give you contraceptive, you two, and then we've got all the others which can still get babies, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. These can all go to the trade center. Yes, exhibit trading. Blah 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 blah. Select all. Quick trade. Confirm. Nice, we nearly went for 100,000, look at this. So, many guest things, uh, ticket prices are underpriced. I like that, that's a good idea. Let's go to 14 and 11. 
and we also go and uh, get the check mark on this one nice okay everything is running just fine at uh, this point in time which is great we don't have education over here which is not great at all um so we are going to spend a little bit time before we end today's episode on education which is going to be rather simple by putting down these education bots here and the other one goes almost like a screen that goes in both here look at that this looks fantastic and another one just here just spamming this area with education is a good idea i guess and then let's get those and we're going to put these in here i think oh my god i just hit it. how how on earth did i do this i don't even care it's in there and i i don't even want to know anymore so we're just going to move this in okay so this should be better in terms of education let's have a little look education coverage okay so we have to just get this one and make sure that they do not overlap so that should be fine still if they have a look here that's all good um how is that is that the wrong animal here are you telling me this is the wrong animal item has been vandalized and is non-functional that's interesting replace um <laughs> okay i did not know um, but we have a security guard, so that should be should be solved now. Uh, we also do have some security cameras, right? I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a good idea to put some more down. So another one very clever probably put down would be here. Uh, let's have a little look at security. So this is now in the security range, which is good. And maybe it makes sense to have another one looking at these things. Great. And another one. That just looks at this space. Oh my god, perfection. Perfection, why is that even red? Is this, oh, this is broken. So the mechanic should actually fix the energy. Alrighty, oh my god, it's so dark. So I don't really like it that dark. But the Fennec Fox Habitat um, is, you know, kind of neat now. And where are our little friends? Are you all inside now to avoid stress? Hello, where are you? Oh, look at that. There you go. Look, they are doing really good. Last meal quality wasn't so great, but we could potentially improve that upon changing this in here. If we can already, yes, we can go to grade two. Right, look at that. Money is flowing in, which is nice. People, you know, going down a little bit. How about bottlenecks? Okay, it's quite, it's quite filled over here, but it's not a bottleneck anymore. People spread out rather nicely now. What time of day is it though? 6 24 in the morning that is pretty early our little one is about to be hungry right now <laughs> mm. so we are going to the end of today's episode but i think we did some some very good things um we did uh, actually very nice on the fennec fox habitat which is great and we have now a food station you know what i do i'm just gonna put like a little roof on this thing first um where's my there you go because that looks, otherwise it looks a bit stupid. Um, I think I want to make sure, I want to break free. I shouldn't sing. Um, we're going to put this here. It's raining? We're in the desert. There's not rain. No such a thing then ra as rain. We don't have that here. We don't, we don't do rain. Okay. Can you all buy like an umbrella now? <laughs> Um, boy, I did not expect it to rain at all in this, but okay. So, uh, is there anything like this? Is the corner piece neat? I just want to have it like, so that this, this looks a bit nicer. Uh, I'm wondering as well. No, that has to be like so. Or can we actually, no, we can actually make that like a half. Yeah, fine. Okay, and then we can use that one here. And just bring this over. Nice, I like it. Okay, you know what? We can actually then also use that over here as well. Um, nope. There you go. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to make like a connection in there as well. For now, it's fine to just have a roof like this. You know, just going to look into that later. But that is just about it. And then we are going to use the asphalt roof. Or do we actually use the corrugated? Can we color that in? No. Can I have the metal plank roof? Yeah, I'm going to use the metal plank here. Just so we have a little bit of a roof concept almost. It's almost like a roof concept. Ha! That looks like a proper roof. Uh, shall we put like an aircon on top of it? Air, everything, aircon, just to make it look a bit nicer. We have the money, you know. We have the money. We don't even care. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm just, you know, I'm just, re I'm just talking weird stuff over here. Good. Let's go into nature and just filter, reset the filter and just say biome is going to be desert. Love it. And then we're going to have a few couple trees and stuff here to make things look nicer. You know, we don't need to go too crazy, but I think I like some of those those plants in here just so this this whole place looks a bit more nice and, and almost like as if someone made him or herself some thoughts about this, you know? Maybe I even did. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Is this the perspective just kind of tricked me here. So there you go. This is neat, and then we're just gonna put some some grass in here to make that look a bit more overgrown and not as easy and yeah, broken up with the path. So I'm just going to add those in. I think it, it makes things look a million times better if you put this grass like down like so. As if this is like growing actually because we have rain here so things like that can actually grow which, which is cool. So I'm gonna put like a bit of grass in here as well. It can run out if, if needed but that's fine. Gonna push like a little bush in between. That looks nice. And then this is too big, but then one sole lonely bush can be in as well. Look at that. This makes the whole thing already look so much more enjoyable. So we've got that food and we've got this habitat in the back here as well with the fennec foxes. Great stuff, guys. I think this is it for today's episode. Facility is broken down. Go and fix it, okay? Mechanic requested, good. Um, I think I'm just gonna focus on making more things like that in the future and making sure we've got more mechanics, but we've got nearly 100,000 bucks, that's insane. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. Now, as I have done a couple of recordings um, back to back, I now have the time to get in your ideas. So what should be the next episode of? Should we go and put one bigger animal in? Should we improve upon the management? What have I missed? You guys spotted a million things maybe that I missed out on. So what's the plan, guys? What shall we do next? Um, you are also kind of my leaderboard when it comes to the decision making. So please put all your thoughts down in the comment section below and give me some hints what we shall do. I put down the stuff that you guys say, but I will also focus on making sure that this thing is going to grow as it should. And you can see, I think the style already gives you a hint that this is going to be a bit more of a good looking franchise zoo at the end of the day um, and I really hope you guys are enjoying this I certainly do enjoy that um, and you guys can now give me an idea do we go here here what animal should we do next let your creativity flow in the comments down below and as always I really do appreciate all of your ongoing support so if you guys want to support me the easiest thing is by subscribing if you haven't already because that's for free and you tell the YouTube algorithm that you like the content which is great or if you want to continue supporting me a tiny bit more, there is now the option to become a member on this channel for only 99 cents. Um, I changed this, finally you can do this, so I chose the lowest option. Uh, you get the emotes for uh, us usage in the comments, but you also get some other perks, you can have a look into it. Um, so yeah, if you want to do this, it is highly welcomed, but it is not a must. So just as a little info service, it is available now. So thank you so much for your ongoing support. Have a great weekend ahead. Make sure to keep your eyes on the channel this weekend. There's a couple of cool things coming. And now I talk enough. Have a good time and goodbye. Stay safe, everyone.